Is anyone else feeling the pressure building? I'm really feeling it today. I just think maybe we should just pause the video, go and open the nearest window and scream out of it for 20 seconds. Should we just do that? Are you joking me? I can't even get to the window. That's what sort of day it is. It's Friday the 13th. Let's not panic, we've got this. We've got Christmas. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm feeling stressed, I don't know why I'm feeling stressed. Is anyone else feeling stressed? I think it's because I know this video is going up this evening. Calm down, just calm down. It's fine, we're just gonna go through some wreaths. Chill out, relax, look at the wreath collection. Oh, I've just seen the ball ball wreath. <laughs> hope you're all well welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Christmas with Mr. Carrington today is Friday the 13th of December I'm filming this on Friday the 13th of December so hopefully this has reached you on time I do hope the Wi-Fi has behaved and the naughty elves aren't interfering so today is going to be a really fun video because I'm sharing with you my wreath collection so as you may know if you're a regular viewer here I've got a few wreaths I like a wreath and I've built up quite a lot of them. <laughs> They're all down here waiting to be shown to you. So I thought we'd go through them all. I'll tell you the ones that I've DIY'd and share with you how I've done that and just share with you the fails, the good ones, get your opinion on them. We'll just have a bit of fun, go through the wreath collection and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna be doing something else, two seconds. So if you saw the thrifted, gifted outfit exchange with Kate McCabe that went up this week, I'll link it in the description box just in case you missed it. I received these and I'm going to be trying them on at the end of the video. Okay, so before we get into the wreaths, if you're new here, do click subscribe. I'm posting videos every single weekday at 5 p.m. throughout December and on Sundays. I've got a morning vlog for you as well. I've got a really fun one coming for you this Sunday, 8 a.m. It's a very festive day in London with Kate and Luke. We had a blast. I can't wait for you to see that one. I think you're going to really enjoy it. I'm just stepping off to get a little drink. I've got a coffee on the go. I hope you've got something nice where you're watching from. It'll be 5 p.m. so I reckon you could pop something naughty in there if you wanted to. Mm. Is anyone else feeling the pressure building? I'm really feeling it today. I just think maybe we should just pause the video, go and open the nearest window and scream out of it for 20 seconds. Should we just do that? Then we can all breathe. Right. get to the window that's what sort of day it is it's Friday the 13th let's not panic we've got this we've got Christmas <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about but I'm feeling stressed I don't know why I'm feeling stressed is anyone else feeling stressed I think it's because I know this video is going up this evening calm down just calm down it's fine we're just gonna go through some wreaths chill out relax look at the wreath collection oh I've just seen the ball ball wreath <sighs> <laughs> Pass me my inhaler. I'm not even asthmatic. Oh, we better get cracking because we're already at about three minutes, and I don't want to bore you. So, um, oh, the first one's an absolute favourite. This is new for this year, and this one I bought from Chelsea Bowen's new shop, which is fantastic. If you haven't already looked at it, make sure you do. I'll link it in the description box. It's called MinionMarge.com or MinionMarge. MinionMarge.com is the internet web address. Um, and it's got this lovely gingerbread man on it. It's got some cotton balls, are they called, I think? It's got acorns that are glittery. Eucalyptus, and I just think this is fab. And he's wearing a, a lace bow tie, we'll call that. And I like the button details on him as well. It's on one of these. I know I'm gonna get stuck for my words today. You know what that is. <laughs> One of these wreath baths that's made out of wicker, would we say? And painted white. Very lovely. Um, and these are really reasonable, I think, as well. So if there's any still for sale over there, definitely go and have a look. I featured this in my gift guide of things to buy for somebody who has everything. The next one I've got to show you I've had hanging above my fireplace. This one was thrifted, but it was a kit when I thrifted it. So you may remember that I did a thrifted... Christmas presents ideas video and within that I found a wreath making kit that was from Kirsty Allsop. I think it was quite an old one because um, the packaging looked quite 
retro. Um, so I think it was from a few years back, but yeah, I just really liked the look of the kit and this is what it made. So this is like a really nice natural wreath and then this is all artificial and I just poked it in. Really easy to do, it took probably about five minutes. So if you're looking for an easy craft, maybe just get some like artificial foliage, one of these, and you can literally just poke in the bits that you want. And if you do it in one side like that, I think it looks quite nice too. Oh, I should mention, whew, it's like a frisbee. Woo! I should mention that one. Um, that one was thrifted, as you may remember. It's the big one, and I'd like your ideas for it. So what I might do in the vlog, I'm vlogging at the minute as well as videos, because we're gonna get a vlog up for you for Monday, I think. Let's look at the schedule, hang on. Monday, I'm aiming to get a vlog up for you. So within that, potentially, I might do a little DIY on this. I've already flocked it with some spray from Poundland. But if you would like to see some more bits on that, let me know any thoughts of what I could do with it. So yeah, that one was two pounds, I think, roundabout. Um, this one was a DIY from last year. This is a, we'll call it a bauble wreath, but I kind of used a tinsel wreath backing. So this backing wreath, thing was from Poundland and so were the baubles. So this was a really easy DIY because essentially all I did was glue gun those on and it was nowhere near as painful as the other bauble wreath that you may have seen the DIY video of this year. But this one I think looks really effective for two pounds I think, maybe three. I can't remember how many packets of baubles I used, maybe two packets. So that would be three pounds. I think that's a really nice one. Easy DIY if you fancy making that and it's good for another frisbee. Oh Lord. Okay. Right, we'll get this one over and done with. Oh, it doesn't even want to be picked up. It's very difficult, this wreath. It's got issues. Hang on. Get in my hands, will you? <laughs> Why are you tangled up? I swear, I swear it's cursed. You know, like one of those horror films where you bring something into your house because I thrifted all the baubles. I think the peacock one might be like cursed evil. <laughs> um, this one, you may have seen the fiasco that was the DIY video to make this. I think it looks alright now, but um, yeah, it still gives me the heebie-jeebies to be honest with you. It's a bauble wreath, as you can see. Eclectic baubles from a charity shop, including this one on the front, which I've since seen very similar one in Liberty for £20, which pleased me, but not enough to make me friends with this wreath again. It's still on the naughty step. But um, this one I ended up glue gunning them all onto another one of these wicker wreath bases that you can pick up in Poundland. It's just a bit temperamental and I don't know if I'd want to hang it on a door that gets used because you can imagine, <laughs> you just know what would happen. Someone would come in and slam the door and you just hear this psh. I'd probably be quite relieved. I'd be like, okay, that's the end of you, goodbye. Right, frisbee time, let's go. No, I'm joking, I'm not gonna throw it. I've been tempted to, let me tell you that. I've been very tempted to throw this on numerous occasions. We'll go and pop him on the sofa. I don't know if this actually classes as a wreath, but I thought I'd include it anyway, because I really like it. I've had this for several years. I think my mum gave me this, um, and it's just like a wooden wicker star. I might thread some LEDs around that and hang it in the window, but yeah, I thought that was nice. So I thought I would include it. Next up is this one. This was the autumn wreath that I made with Luke. Um, oh! <sighs> it's now got two pine cones and three conkers because distribution and all that, I think three was too many anyway. So there's now a pine cone under the sofa. But yeah, I made this um, with Luke. We did a DIY without having a breakdown, which was monumentous for us. And yeah, it's just a very simple autumn one. This is made on a Poundland metal ring wreath base and just added some natural bits and bobs, including the cinnamon, the orange, and wrapped it in twine. <laughs> Can you tell I'm really stressed? Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? It's meant to be a relaxing video. I'm trying to give you like all the chill out vibes, relax have a little coffee, enjoy the wreaths, and they're all falling apart and I'm getting stressed. So this one I made recently at a Dunelm event. So I went along to their spring and summer 2020 collection launch. 
in London and they had a bit of a wreath making workshop so I had a go at making one and these ones were made on an embroidery ring, an embroidery hoop, um, which is a nice way to make a wreath because you've obviously got the nice simple wooden circle already. Just take off the bit that has the clamps and then you're left with just the ring. You could use the one with the clamps as well to make a second one, I guess, if you wanted to. And this is all artificial foliage that I've added. As you can see, I just wired these on. So no glue gunning involved, just wire. And that's that one. This one, oh, let's just put those noisy bells down. This one is a Poundland decoration, but would you class that as a wreath? I kind of would, but if you wanted a very small, simple one. And things like this don't always come back into Poundland. I've not seen this one since, but I thought that was really good. It looks like a proper little DIY craft, almost like it's been made with um, lolly sticks and buttons. Has it actually been made with lolly sticks and buttons? I think it may well have. Um, which I thought was really good for one pound and yeah love that so if you do see ones that you really like in Poundland it might be worth picking them up because they might not come back in a future year we'll get this one out of the way because it's noisy again I think this was Poundland a few years ago and I haven't seen this one back in store since which I think is just such good value because you've got all the bells on there and they're different like they've got sparkly ones and normal gold ones and it's got the little embellishment going on there. A lot of detail for a quid. This one is another DIY that I made last year. So I've got a DIY wreaths video from last year if you want to go and check it out. Lots of my Christmas videos from last year do include lots of DIYs if you're interested in those. This was made from a wreath base from Tiger. A little door decoration that I got in Poundland and these little felt figures were from Poundland as well. The little gingerbread men which I stuck on at the front door. And I just thought, yeah, it's like a nice little scene in that one. I can't remember where I got this one from. I think it might have come from my mum again, or it might have been thrifted. Um, actually, I feel like I've added something to this. I think it was just the plain base, and I might have wrapped this ivy around it. This one is another DIY from last year. This was a really simple wreath base. I can't remember where I got this wreath base from. I <coughs> The flocking's getting in my throat. The succulents are from Hobbycraft. Just trimmed the stems off and then glue gunned those on and then gave it a good flocking. This one's a recent thrift find. This was two pounds from Sense. I think it needs a bit of work. It smells of cigarettes, to be honest, um, even though I put it in the shower. I might paint it. What are we thinking, maybe white? Let me know any ideas. Maybe white and a few lights around it. Get rid of this lovely ribbon. <laughs> put that on someone's present. Um, and yeah, we'll be good to go. Another one that was thrifted from this year, and this one was £1.50, kind of autumn-y, so I'll probably not be putting that up this year, but nice for next year in autumn time. Another one that I thrifted, um, oh, that's falling apart. <laughs> Poke that in there. Well, I quite like this one. I like that it kind of looks a little bit snowy on there. I think that's really nice. I think this would look really nice. Do you ever imagine where things would look nice if I had a shed? or an outhouse with a small window on the door and then this underneath the small window one day. <laughs> and then this one again was another charity shop find. This was £2.75 from Scents. Bit squashed, um, but I like how simple this one is, the white and red. So I'll try and get that into some sort of shape and hang that somewhere. This one was from Flying Tiger. It was really reasonable and I think it looks lovely. I think it was only two or three pounds if I remember. Oh talk properly. I think it was only two or three pounds if I remember correctly. And the last one that I've got to show you is this one from Ikea. No, it's not the last one. Last but one. This one from Ikea and this is a natural wreath base that I poked in some fake eucalyptus and some berries. And I've had this one up all year round so I think it looks quite good any season. I think things like this where it's just green, you can have them up all year round. Why not have a wreath for every season? We need to do a summer wreath, don't we? Remind me in springtime and we'll do something for 
spring or summer in the wreath department. Then the last one I've got to show you is probably one of my favourites. It's the pom-pom wreath that so many of you have made. So thank you so much if you've made this and tagged me in a picture over on Instagram. I've shared a highlight on my home account, which is Mr Carrington Home, which has got all of your pom-pom wreaths. So if you want to go over there and have a look at other people's wreaths that they've made that's been inspired by this one, but you've come up with some brilliant ideas, different festive colours, different takes on it. There's been Disney versions, all different kinds. I've loved seeing them so thank you so much if you tag me in your pictures and yeah I will continue to share them if anyone else wants to make one of these um, do tag me in your pictures as well and the video is on my channel as well so if you want to get the full tutorial of this and you missed that then it's there and I'll link it in the description box so that is all of the wreaths so let me know in the comments which one is your favorite let me know if you've got any ideas of what I should do with this and now I'm gonna get the trousers on why did I say I'd do that? I might as well just keep talking to you while I get changed because you can't see what's going on down here. So, which is probably a good job. So let me know what you're up to as well this weekend. Um, as we're on Friday, I feel like I'm literally talking to you. I know I'm always talking to you, but it feels a bit more, a bit more up to date today. So yeah, what are we all up to? Let me know what you've got planned for the weekend. I'm trying to think what I'm doing. I'm going to a YouTube party tonight. So I, oh, oh my. God, oh the fit, oh, they look like, is it clots? <laughs> oh wow, with this jumper as well, they've got a bit of stretch in the waist which is good, but I'm gonna have to angle you down now really, aren't I? We'll just get the flies done up and then we'll angle you down so you can see what we're dealing with here. Oh goodness me. Please excuse the carpet as well, I haven't had time to hoover. <laughs> Does anyone have time to hoover at this time of year? Oh, there's a pom-pom down here. That's, um, I had a Miley Chantel round the other day and I was demonstrating how strong the glue gun was and I ripped it clean off. Coming in a future video, <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> oh, goodness me, okay, so what do we think? I'm not sure about this angle, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. This is giving me the heebie-jeebies. That amount of, I mean, maybe if I tuck them in. <laughs> what, do, what are we saying? I feel like this angle's probably not helping. Let's bring you down a bit. Uh, well, I quite like, <laughs> I quite like the stretch in them, to be honest. Be good for um, Christmas Day, wouldn't it? Do you know what, maybe, oh, it's just these bits. I just don't know about the amount of flap. <laughs> if that was a bit tighter, say if that was like, let's just tuck it in my sock to give you an example. Or maybe if like we rolled them up. Oh no, oh <laughs> no. Oh dear. Hmm. To be honest, they're very comfortable. Yeah, let's rate them out of 10. What are we thinking? And what would you put them with? Um, yeah, so <laughs> there we are. Hello. So there we are, I really hope you enjoyed my wreath collection and trying on my new trousers. And I hope you have a really good weekend, whatever you're up to. So yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what you've got planned. Hope you've had a good week. Hope Friday the 13th isn't feeling too unlucky for you. I know we've all had a bit of a day today, but let's just be happy. We can look forward to Christmas. Lots of exciting videos are coming your way. I'm not sure if there'll be one tomorrow, but there may well be, so stay tuned. Hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already, but I'll definitely be back with you on Sunday morning with the vlog from London. Very festive with Kate and Luke. It was loads of fun, so I can't wait to share that one with you. And then next week we'll be back once again, every day, Monday to Friday at 5 p.m. And then next week I'll be back every day at 5 p.m. with brand new videos for you. Kicking off on Monday when we'll have the vlog from this week, Sandy Makes Sense is popping over to share some German Christmas and New Year traditions, which was so much fun. Luke and I are going to be making some Christmas cocktails, so things are about to get 
very messy and on Friday, Kate and myself are exchanging our Christmas presents. So loads of videos to look forward to every day next week at 5 p.m. So hopefully I'll catch you there. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a brilliant weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.